Hey! Hey, I'm Brandon Bailey from the Appalachian Entertainment School of Music. We're going to do a little guitar lesson today. This is, uh, this is my Charbel guitar I've had for a hundred years or so, something like that. Uh, I'm just going to play a little bit of guitar for you real quick. Uh, I'll show you uh, where you can go, I guess. <laughs> start off with the basics of the guitar today. Uh, these are uh, fairly standard. You'll find within most guitars that there are several different types of things. Main thing is, is you have guitar strings. Uh, these areas right here are called frets. Uh, they allow the notes to change whenever you play the string. These are the pickups. Basically what happens here is whenever the string um, vibrates, these pickups have generated a little uh, magnetic field and uh, the strings interrupt this magnetic field and uh, that's turned into an electronic signal that comes out of the guitar and into the, uh, into the system here. Now uh, these switches on here are basically on off switches and several different types of setups. Usually there's like a slider that switches between things, between pickups. But this one has switches for each pickup. This one turns this pickup on, this one turns this pickup on, this one turns this pickup on. Uh, each one of these pickups have different uh, tones. Uh, this one's got more of an aggressive tone because it's closer to the, to the bridge. Uh, whereas this one's got a warmer tone. This one's in between. This one has a, this guitar has a preamp on it. That's what this knob is. Basically it just gives more oomph to the sound. This part of the guitar is called the bridge. Uh, this is where the guitar, the string stops uh, on this end. Uh, this end is called the nut. Uh, these are the tuners. Now these are, this guitar has uh, fine tuners uh, because it has a locking nut. Uh, and, and if you use your whammy bar a lot, which I like to use, but this one goes out of tune all the time, so I don't use it very often. Uh, what you do is you lock this end down, and then you tune your guitar down here to do fine adjustments. Uh, theoretically, if the guitar is in tune, you should only have to do fine adjustments. Uh, this one has a neck through body. Uh, sometimes you have a bolt-on neck, but this particular one is a neck through body. And a serial number. And you also see the electronics in here. Uh, is, but, uh, that's the electronics on the inside. Of it. You see, this one's got a battery in it. Uh, not all guitars have batteries, but this particular one does have a battery. All right, enough on the guitar itself. Uh, I do want to show you guys the pod. This is the unit that I play guitar through. Uh, there's several different types of units like this. I really do like the pod. It's got MIDI uh, inputs on it, so I can go online and, and find different sounds that I like and uh, incorporate them into what I do. Okay. All right, we'll talk about some of the first settings, uh, first practices for the guitar, okay? Uh, the main thing is, is that you're comfortable with the guitar. Uh, you may be sitting down. If you are, that's fine. Uh, but standing up, uh, you need to hold the pick uh, in a comfortable fashion. Now, some people teach you to hold the pick like that. I'm not saying that's wrong. That's fine. Whatever feels comfortable to you. I personally prefer to hold it with these two fingers. Uh, and I kind of turn it around sometimes for different angles of the pick and uh, this just seems a little less controllable to me uh, but that's just my opinion so anyway so I suggest you hold the pick somewhat like this and sometimes you use the edge depending on what kind of a sound you might want to get and you can get a different sound for strumming and from picking so there's several different ways to pick it you can kind of rake across it and then you can pick individual strings. So those are different kinds of sounds just briefly on what you can do with your pickup or with your pick. Uh, with your left hand, you're going to kind of want to do this thing. I don't know what else to call it. I've been calling it duck hand. Uh, basically, you, you make your hand in kind of a whack, 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 whack sound. Uh, and it, you hold the guitar like this with your thumb a little bit kind of low and in, or in the middle of the middle of the neck in the back. Uh, oftentimes you find and you see people that kind of throw their thumbs across the top. Uh, not to say that this is wrong, uh, but to get the optimum from your fingers, you're going to need to move your hand into kind of this position. 
uh, so you can really get full movement of your hands. Up here, you're kind of limited on where your hands can go. Uh, so, uh, on the front side of the guitar, you're going to have uh, kind of as a comfortable position or as a starting position. I like to put my fingers, every finger gets a fret, basically. And you'll notice that whenever you play a note, you're going to want to play it kind of close to the back side of the fret that you're hitting. Uh, the further back you get, the more difficult it is to play. So the closer to the front side of the fret that you can get without getting on top of it, uh, the easier the note is to play. So uh, just as a, as a standard position, kind of put your hand up there and feel like that your thumb is in the middle of the back and your fingers are flat in every fret here. Uh, should be able to make a sound. Uh, the very first exercise we do, well, first, before than anything else, it's always good to tune your guitar. Uh, almost all guitars are going to go out of tune when they're just sitting around environmental things, temperature changes, that humidity, all of these things affect the guitar. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is check the tuning on it. Your first string, or your sixth string, whenever they started creating uh, education for a guitar, I'm not sure why, but they started with the first string on the bottom. So this is technically your first string. I usually tune from the top down, so we'll do it that way. Uh, this is the sixth string. This is an E. We have E, A, D, G, B, E. Unfortunately, the guitar was pretty close to in tune. Uh, if it's a good guitar, it'll probably stay pretty good in tune, but it's always good to check right before you get started at anything, performance, practice, whatever. Anyway, on to the first guitar lesson. Enough about guitar. Uh, the first guitar lesson here. This is the chromatic scale. Uh, I suggest everybody do this uh, as a warm-up. Uh, basically, once again, you get every finger for every fret. Uh, so your first finger goes in your first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, fourth finger, fourth fret. Okay, the chromatic scale goes like this, though. We go open, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and then we go to the next string. Same thing. Open, first, second, third, fourth, open, first, second, third, fourth. Now on the B string, you don't hit the open note. But on the bottom string, on the E, you hit open again. So this is the scale. Once you get to the top, you can go back down. Remember, when you're going back down the, the B string, you don't hit it open. Every other string you hit open. That's your very first warm-up exercise. A couple of things you wanted to uh, make note of is make sure your fingers aren't working too much. Even mine work a little bit more than they need to. But you can imagine you really only have to move your finger, uh, slide them out to make it uh, to do the actual exercise. So the less you can move your hand, the better off you're going to be training yourself uh, for speed and, and uh, wherever you want to go with that. So that's the very first exercise I would like to do. Uh, I will include on the uh, on the website here uh, some other chords that you can play that are good starting chords. Uh, I like to start off with the uh, G. You can play the G this way, or you can play the G this way. There's really no difference as far as like tone. Uh, I prefer to play it this way because it's closer to your other chords and you don't have to move your hand quite so much as opposed to G, C, G. Uh, so, uh, and then so we have the G, the C, and the D. Now uh, I'll show in subsequent uh, lessons uh, how to read uh, guitar charts and tablature and other things like that. Uh, I guess that's the basics of the guitar. Uh, once again, if anybody has any comments or questions, uh, just leave them on the website there, and uh, we'll uh, get back to you as soon as we can. All right, that's good enough for today. All right, kids.